you guys, Immense Zed here with uh, my first tutorial of many, hopefully. And this one today is on putting 3D text onto a clip, such as Call of Duty or whatever you want to put it on. And it will just look like this sort of thing, which I've done for Banks' trailer. You've got them coming up on wherever you want on the screen in 3D text on the video. And then maybe we'll get into something more like where it explodes like that but that might be for a more advanced tutorial. Right, anyway, for this uh, tutorial we need Cinema 4D and After Effects to make that happen. Right, what you want to do first off is get your render settings right because they will make the whole scene just look much better if you get them right. If you get them wrong, you just get wrong shadows and it just won't look right. Your colours won't come out properly. So I save presets because that's the easiest way to do it. Now on this preset here, if you just want to go and sort of look at the settings, I'll go through them so you can have a look what I've got on it. Um, you've got a the settings of 720p video, but you can do 1080 if you wanted to. Uh, you've got it saved, always click this thing here and then find somewhere to save it to. But we'll do that before we go to render it. Uh, another thing is the options, all these settings here, most of them are what they usually are but some of them are changed if you just check yours are all the same also we don't need object glow but to add global illumination here you probably won't have it you need to right click and then go down it'll be on here just click on it it will come up and that should already be set to what it needs to be you can add ambient occlusion but it does mean that your render will take a lot longer so I only add it if it's a small render usually right so to get started with the uh, text what you need to do is you need to click and hold on this thing here and then go down to text here and then write what you want so I don't know I've got let's see where my clip is I've got a no scope here that I'm going to use and it's on, oh, that's bloody loud uh, it's on some optic kid I don't know he had optic in his name probably a fanboy I'm not sure Right, and I'm going to write no scope here. And then you click off that and it will change it to that. Click on the font here to change your text. I'll just go with the simple Bank Gothic, which is the Call of Duty text, because, well, why not? Change the horizontal spacing, make it so it comes together. It always looks a bit better. Right, now to make it 3D, you need to click and hold on this and add extrude nerbs and then drag and drop your text into the extrude nerves and it should make it 3D like that then change in this number here you should change it to about 60 or 80 will make it get more go more 3D dimensional backwards it will add depth to it right now that you've got that we can think about adding the engraving on it to make it look just a little bit better so what you do is you add a fillet cap on both of these, the start and the end, and I usually change it to about three. And now you can see that it's got sort of a 3D effect, but I don't want to use that one there. I want to change this to here to engraved so it comes around and looks like sort of like it pokes out a little. You can see it's sort of like an outline on the text. You'll see it better as we go through the tutorial a little bit further. And now to add, I'd say colour is the next thing to do. So I've got, once again, I've got presets here for the colour that I like to use and then change it. Um, to make these colours, all you usually do is double click on there and one of these will come up. You double click on that, change it to whatever colour you want and then add in all these settings if you want to. To uh, On this, I've got just the colour as orange and I've added a little bit of reflection but you can't add much with this tutorial because it's only a green screen that you'll be using it will be reflection of green and that just won't look too good right so all you then do is you need to click on here and then press C on your keyboard or click this icon here and that will make it editable right then you open that up and drag and drop your colour onto it and it will change the colour of that I usually use two colours when doing this. I use the orange and the grey, but I'll say today we could change the colours about a bit. I'll drag and drop that. 
until that looks right and then if you just want to quickly check that that looks alright by clicking that oh man um, that's another thing you need to do you need to click on what is it that one there and add a sky in it just lights the whole thing up so when you quickly render like this it will just show you what it would look like with a white background on it and that's looking alright it's looking a little bit close here we might be able to sort that out right so I'm gonna change if you click down here and you change the color of the font so I'm gonna change it I think we're gonna go for a blue so we'll just change it there like that right now the next bits completely up to you what you want to do with the color at the moment it looks like this where I think the out the whole of the outline of the text is gray yeah and just the front is blue but you can change that just by dragging and dropping these colors around in different parts of the rounding now when it when you drag it to that it just changes it a little bit and see what this comes out like yeah just the blue is the front of the text and then another one you can do is just drag the blue up to there and it makes the whole thing blue with just an outline of grey on the text I think I might keep this one just just might as well go for that yeah right and the next thing to do is to add the green screen plane right so I'm gonna zoom out a bit so just scroll out or whatever you do for that and then add a well you could add a floor I suppose but that's only if you want to create shadow but I don't think we want to create shadow for this one so I'm going to add a plane now what you need to do is drag it out that way a little bit and then rotate it 90 degrees clicking on this icon here and rotate it to about 90 degrees and then you can change it down there oh it should mine's already on snap lock some people shouldn't be if it's not then you can change it to 90 there right and then click on this icon here and make sure it's got all three lines here selected when you click on the middle and drag it until it makes it big like really big as big as you can doesn't matter if it's too big to fit the screen that's good click back on this one here just to move it along and then we'll move the camera around there uh, make sure you've clicked on this layer here when you're moving the camera around if you make it too big because otherwise you'll start um, you'll start moving the camera around the big plane and then you'll probably lose this text it's just oh, it's just not good when that happens um, now to add a green screen I think I might have a preset for this but if I don't I'll go and show you guys how to make one anyway uh, yeah green screen it's literally just the color green as much as you can just a really lime green and then I've got a bit of specular just click on that like click it on and off just click it on like that and then just drag that straight onto the back plane and it should come out like that then when you render it it will just look like green screen you shouldn't have reflection on the text if you do then that's going to come out in the video and it's not going to look too nice just it might take a little bit more to render because of the green in the background depending on how fast your computer is this will take ages to render in some people's but quicker on others and that yeah that looks all right <laughs> right so what we can do next is add in the movement of the text around the clip uh, you can do the easiest way to do this is probably by adding in a camera so you just add click on that and add in a camera there and it will automatically position it where you are looking at it from original but if you want to change that you can go to cameras and edit to camera so say we're on the scene camera here and now we're on this and now we move this to here I'll zoom in a little bit then click on cameras again go back to edit to camera it will chuck you right back where you were looking from and you can move this around it won't affect where your camera is looking right so if we click back on the scene camera and I think what we're gonna do for this is make it just swerve around the text probably easier to do this by clicking on that so that we get the four boxes come out and probably the easiest way to do it is from this box here we're gonna have to add an auto keyframer by clicking on this here and then add a default keyframe for that frame 
and move it round here on this one here until you can see it oh that's a bit far away and just position it where you want it to go you can always move it from this one as well uh, that's a little bit tilted I don't like that so just tilt it until you find the one that you need to be on and that'll do um, and then from that you then skip forward to I'd say the end frame add another keyframe and move it to where you want it to end up so if I drag this over to this side here and uh, turn that back around to face the text I don't know how this is going to come out but we'll see there's some crazy angle going on it might look a bit little dynamic that might be good you don't know just have to wait and see um, and then also to make it so that as you can see here if I click on this just play through it, it you cut off all the text if you did that so what you're going to need to do is click on about I'd say frame 50 where you see some of the text and just move this back a little bit so the text is all still there and then move along a little bit more to about 80 I'd say and move it back a bit more because that text is still getting cut off and then move along even more 110 move that back so the text is still in the picture and then just check through the whole thing to make sure the text gets a little bit cut off there so what I'm going to do is move that out a little bit more and then you can click back on this and this button here and play it through and you should have the text oh it jumps a little bit, I don't really like that bit there but I'm not perfecting it in this tutorial, this is just for you guys to see uh, right so now you've got pretty much everything you need to have done and now we pretty much just need to render it out just have a look what it looks like from that angle before we go and finalize it all because uh, once you start rendering it it might take a while and it usually takes a couple of hours depending on how good your computer is and what you've put into the scene um, yeah rendering is quite a long process depending on what it is but this is quite a simple object so it shouldn't be too bad that's why I wouldn't I wasn't going to show you but I will do a little thing on how to add explosion into it but this will mean your render will take a lot longer to do what you'd want to do if you I'm just going to do this quickly is you add explosion effects drag and drop that into the extrude nerves and it will blow apart your text so what you would do to keep the text was click it back out duplicate this layer by control C V you know and uh, drag and drop the explosion into it so it just sort of has parts around it then if you wanted to go change you can mess around with all the settings here whatever you wanted to do with it uh, if you're a beginner then just you don't really know what you're doing just click around so you can see it, it moves stuff everything but if you're more advanced at using this program then you'll know what you're doing with all this stuff if you uh, then render it here you can see instantly it's taking a lot longer to render because it has to render all the other stuff in the scene so the overall render of this will probably be maybe two three times longer than the original one depending on how much stuff you add into it I'll just wait for this to render to give you a quick idea of what it will look like it does look a lot better but the problem is if you're doing this from this tutorial here the green screen will cut off after this layer around the edge and if you've got any stuff it will just look like it disappears into the video which isn't too great but there is ways to sort that but that's another process to do uh, this is taking its time but I'll just let it go it's not like my computer's the slowest computer in the world it will just still take a while because it's a big process to happen on this computer <sighs> well I'll show you what else we can do whilst this is happening